So good day students, today we will have a discussion about exam technique regarding the audit strategy. Before we do that, let's just look at a few general advice that I have for you when preparing for your exams. First of all, do not spot. Every topic is important. Please don't fish for exam tips. Then, most importantly, attempt questions. Then I know the workload is tough, but if you start early, you will be well prepared. And also don't try to do a crash course. Practice makes perfect. And most importantly, stay motivated. Okay, so if we look back at the overall audit strategy, you will remember that it consists of the scope, which is the what, the timing, is the when, and the direction, which is the how, the focus of your audit. So remember, your scope is your range of activities to be performed. Your timing is when your audit procedures will be performed. And direction is your focus area that you will direct your attention to. So these slides might also look familiar from a previous presentation that dealt with audit strategy. But just to refresh your memory, remember in scope that certain risk indicators uh, might affect your, your scope. Some of those included a new audit client, if the client is listed on the JSE, if the client systems are automated, third party involvement, and so on and so on. So as you work through questions, make sure that you can add some, uh, some of the ones that you come across in those questions to this list. It will just make your revision uh, uh, easier. Then also remember, you should not just only list these uh, risk indicators or aspects, you should discuss them and tell me what you as an auditor will do about it. Okay, and then your timing. Remember, that's all about when your audit procedures will be performed. So things that will influence your timing is your tight order deadline, if the business is decentralized, if there's third parties involved, and so on and so on. Also do the same, add to the list as you go through questions. Uh, to make your revision just earlier, easier. And then also remember to explain to me how these will affect your audit. Uh, for example, uh, will you do your proce procedures before year end, early verification, and so on and so on. And then lastly, your direction, which is your focus of your audit, is the things that will uh, that will influence this is like, if it was identified that it's a going, there's going concern issues, or maybe there's some statements as directors want to receive more bonuses, or you know it's inventory imported, and so on and so on. So, um, yeah, just go through this, add to it on the list, and uh, expand this one, and it will be easier when you do your revision. Okay, so let's get to what I'm sure you are interested in, is to discuss an exam question. We will discuss the same client that we discussed uh, with the previous video, which I prepared on the risk identification. So the question will deal with App Connect once again. So to do this, let's just refer to the required. Okay, so the re required refers us to the background information of App Connect. So we will refer specifically to that specific section. And then it says, identify and describe the aspects that the auditor should consider when developing the audit strategy. So you should identify them, but then also describe what the auditor will do about this. And then the, answer, the, the question states, your answer should focus on the scope and timing of the audit strategy only. So you don't have to deal with direction, only with the scope and the timing. Okay, so let's just have a look again what we should note from this required section. First of all, we saw that the question counts 15 marks. You have 1.8 minutes per mark, therefore you have 27 minutes to answer this question. If you go over the time, it might be that you take some time from other questions and that can influence you negatively. Okay, as we established, it's about the audit strategy. So what is the audit strategy again? It's the general idea of what the auditor should focus on in the audit. So it's the big picture. Remember that we said the audit plan is more detailed. The audit strategy is just the big picture. 
Okay, and then we said limit your answer to the scope and timing. So your scope refers to the range of activities to be performed and timing refers to when the audit procedure should be performed. And then I have a tip for you. Remember when answering a question like this, dealing with audit strategy or even audit plan, remember to keep the risk indicators uh, that you uh, identified in your risk identification in mind. So it's very important that you remember those risk indicators. Okay, so if we refer back to the question, you will see here yeah, already, like uh, in the previous video where we discussed the uh, risk identification at the financial statement level, that some of the risk indicators that we highlighted and discussed there. But let's start at the beginning again, just to see maybe there's something else that will also influence the audit strategy. Okay, so let's see. AppConnect is one of the companies in the cellular PTY limited cellular group. So this was a big discussion point yesterday when we did the, the video on the risk identification, where we said, remember the required um, requires you to answer the question in terms of app connect. Yes. So we didn't describe anything in terms of our risk in, uh, identification about the group. But this is very relevant to the audit strategy, because if you are a subsidiary, you have to report back to um, to the group um, for consolidation. So this will definitely influence your timing of your audit strategy. Okay, and then the rest of that paragraph, you can read through it again, but it just basically gives us some background about App Connect, and it's not really relevant. Okay, then if we look at the second paragraph, you will remember that yesterday we identified that there's some related party transactions going taking place between the companies. So that's very relevant, but not to the audit strategy. Related party transactions are more detailed, and it will affect your audit plan um, specifically. But at the audit strategy, it's too it's too detailed, and the audit strategy just gives you a general picture. It will affect your audit plan when, when you say that you will perform substantive procedures on the related party transactions. So that's why it's more detailed. Okay, and then the rest of the sentence says that uh, they have to comply with the Consumer Protection Act. This is still relevant to the audit strategy. It will affect your scope because you as an auditor have to have a general idea of what these regulations are about and uh, therefore it will affect your audit strategy. Okay, then if we move on to the next paragraph, we can see that during the financial year, AppConnect updated its operational accounting software to a more sophisticated package, which allows less human intervention as most of its functions are automated. So yesterday we said a risk indicator for the financial statement level is the fact that they updated accounting software. So now, at this stage, um, remember from yesterday that we said we're going to uh, appoint uh, other auditors. So for now, for our audit strategy, this issue is not so relevant. But what is relevant is if you continue to the end of the sentence where they say that most of the functions are automated at AppConnect. That's very relevant because this will give you an indication that you have to use CATS in your audit. So this will definitely affect your scope of your audit strategy. If you continue with these sentences, remember where we said uh, they decided to appoint auditors specializing in computer audits. Well, this is very important. You, um, remember about the audit accounting software, these auditors are going to audit this specifically. So again, this is third parties. It will uh, influence my scope and my timing. Of my audit strategy and we will discuss how you should formulate your answer in terms of these two a little bit later on okay and then if we continue it is especially important that audit incorporated are satisfied that the internal controls are working effectively as a member of management was able to override certain existing internal controls so remember we definitely identified this as a risk uh, with our risk assessment and again this will influence our our scope of, of our audit um, strategy as we might involve some fraud specialists or so on and then specifically this will also influence our audit plan the detail because we will most likely perform more uh, tests to make sure that the controls are working 
So it's not really relevant uh, to the audit strategy, except that we might involve a third party here. Yeah. And then AppConnect management indicated that the audit should be finalized by no later than two weeks after year end. Okay, so this is a big thing and it influences our timing. So definitely it will influence our um, audit strategy. And then if we continue with that sentence, as they will be required to submit a 20x1 financial statement as part of a tender application. It, remember the risk that we identified with the tender application is that um, management might manipulate uh, some of the figures so they will overstate certain things like revenue maybe or the assets so that is specific it's specific line items and that will re again influence the detail and will affect our audit plan so not so much our audit strategy at this stage okay so let's just have a look at the now that we identified all the risk indicators and aspects let's just have a look at how should we formalize our answers and the first one is remember that we said that uh, app connect systems are automated so definitely uh, you should explain from an auditor's perspective uh, how it will influence you and you must tell me yes it might be applicable to use cats when you perform that audit something that i want to highlight you will see in the solution that there are a few headings like this one is that the systems are automated. The next one is the use of the third parties and so on. If you just write these headings, you won't get marks. You have to tell me how it influences the auditor and how we will perform the audit. Okay, so make sure that you uh, mention that a paragraph section in your answer. If we move on to the next one, we said that they're going to involve third party auditors. So this is very important. It should be taken into account because can we really rely on these third parties? It will definitely influence our scope. And then thirdly, compliance with laws and regulations. Very important here. Um, yep, they have to comply with the CPA and it might lead to penalties or discontinuation of business if it's not adhered to. So we need to take into account and make sure that we know what's happening, what's up with these laws and regulations and also just the additional one as we know this is a company they should also comply with the company's act okay and then lastly in terms of scope we should also have the option to maybe involve a fraud specialist uh, because there was some over overriding of controls by management um, yeah so that's also a point that can be taken. This is also a third party issue. It's just a different third party, so you should also mention that. Okay, that's all in terms of scope in this scenario. Um, I think go back to that list where we added some of the indicators that will affect your scope and see if you can add on to that list by doing this question. Um, it might be, it might not be, and then um, yeah, as you go do other questions, then just add on to that list and make sure that your list is complete just for your revision purposes. It will make it much easier. Okay, so let's move on to the timing section. So in terms of timing, there is an imposed deadline. So this will really um, influence our audit. We might, you must tell me how it's going to influence the audit. So it might be that you want to decide to do early verification just before year end, roll forward to year end, or maybe you want to perform interim audit procedures. So just note that you can uh, discuss both of those. And then because you're using a third party, uh, you must consider the timing of the availability of the report from them. And you should mention this to me and also meetings. Um, with these third party auditors should be scheduled. So, so you must make time for that and plan for that accordingly. So you can see with the third party, it really influences your timing as well. And then the use of CATS, what's relevant here is you need to ensure that the data and information is available timelessly to ensure the results and the impact, impact of the CATS. And then also remember we said we need to report to the group because we are a subsidiary in the cellular group and therefore it might be they will have tight deadlines and we need to make sure that we comply with these deadlines and also also schedule our meetings okay so can you see that 
that it's not so difficult to do an audit strategy question. Keep in mind your risk indicators from your risk assessment, see what you can elaborate on, and then in your answer, very importantly, make sure that you explain it from the auditor's perspective. Okay, thank you for your time and good luck with your preparation.